Hello, thank you so much for joining me for Relationships Rules. This is Dr. Tuesday Tate, your relationship coach. I am fortunate enough to do a great deal of relationship coaching and counseling, not only with singles and people who are engaged, before you say I do counseling, but also people who are married, which in itself is always amazing that as a single woman, uh, couples receive from me, but I believe they receive from me simply because I give them the word. I give them the word and how they apply the word uh, is totally up to them. And if they need that actual um, relationship example, uh, I do provide couples who have sustained, long lasting, healthy marriages to them to just kind of bounce things off of. But understanding how to apply just personality and life situations to marriage and the word. And so I'm honored and I'm humbled when that happened. And so I have some powerful testimonies of marriage and relationship success through my coaching. And so look for a relationship retreat to come really soon. Um, we're talking about this fall, but I'm not sure yet. So we'll just see what the Lord is doing. But the question that I've gotten a lot of lately is how to rebound. How do you come back from these hurts? And then how do you let go? And so I did a blog a few weeks ago on rebounding right. And so this blog is about how to let go. And I pray that it blesses you, the transparency of, of me and my relationships, uh, I pray that it blesses you. I try to be very uh, forthcoming in those things uh, without definitely discrediting uh, anyone on the other end. Uh, but the truth is the truth. Reality is reality. And there's so many people out here hurting because of not knowing why something ended or knowing why it ended, but don't quite understand why we couldn't fix that. And the truth is because people have a free will and they choose to do what they choose to do. And so a lot of what we're encountering is just people making choices. They come into a relationship and then wake up one day and count up the cost and say, this ain't what I want. Or you're in premarital counseling. And I've had this where people are in counseling and they're like, oh, we're not ready. We thought we were going to get married, you know, in three months, but you know what? We're going to push it back a little bit. Or there are people who come into premarital counseling and realize I don't want to be married. Shame on them, right? That they should have maybe known that, but thank God for premarital counseling. But there is so much hurt. So how do I let go? Sister Tuesday, Dr. Tuesday. Minister, elder, prophetess, teacher, preacher, businesswoman. How did you and how do I let go? I had a gentleman ask me, how did you get over that? How did you get over X, Y, and Z and how that happened? And I said, I prayed. I cried out to God. I locked myself away. I sought the Lord. I needed to purge and cleanse my heart because I didn't want to go into the next thing, comparing him to that guy. And so what do I do? How do I let go? How do I set my heart right so God can send the right one, the real one? No more Ishmael's for you and no more uh, Rachel's or Leah's for our men. Uh, so um, the scripture says in, in Corinthians, I believe 2 Corinthians, uh, I want to say maybe chapter 1, about verse 3 or somewhere in there. It talks about God being the God of comfort. And how he will comfort us in all of our troubles so that we can comfort others in their troubles. Now, do I believe God will allow you to continue to lose this job, lose this job, have this failed relationship, this failed relationship, face this failure, this failure, this loss, this loss, just so that you can comfort people? No, I don't necessarily think that. But I do know that when it happens, you should use it. You should use it for the glory of God to be a blessing to someone else. So how do I let go when I'm still hurting? How do I let go when I still have questions? How do I let go when they've never explained to me why they walked away, why they've left me and our children? How do I let go when I look up and it's weeks later, months later, and they've already moved on and they're sporting someone else on their arm in a relationship? How do I, how do I let go? How do I let go of this hurt that when I think I'm healed and I'm on my way to wholeness, something else happens? 
something else is said, something else is done. How do I let go when I'm hearing the rumors that he's telling everybody it was my father. She's telling everybody it was my fault and it wasn't me. It was them. They're lying. How do I let go when now I'm becoming angry? How do I let go when they broke up with me via a text message, via Facebook, grown folk? Yes, this is the stuff that's happening with grown people, 30, 40, 50, 60 year old folk. This is the stuff that they're doing. How do I let go when I realize while they were seeing me, they were seeing someone else. They've cheated on me numerous times, brought home, you know, STDs, have another children out there, got someone pregnant while we were dead. How do I let go? So I pray. I pray that my blog helps you. I pray that it encourages you. Know that God has something great for you. In this season of being back at weight, work on you. They may have gone on and took all their issues into the next relationship, and they'll probably hurt the next person, unfortunately, and leaving in their wake all of these hurt and brokenhearted people. And let God, God will deal with them. God is an avenger. He said, vengeance is mine. He will not continue to allow his daughters who are good, who are trying to be, do the right thing to continue to be hurt. And nor will he allow his sons who are doing the right thing uh, to be taken advantage of by women who are, what would we say back in the day? Gold diggers? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sack chasers. That's what we call them back in the day. I think somebody else in the 90s or early 2000s called them gold diggers. But so what do you do? What do you do when when they are making it look like they're the victim, when truly they victimized you. What do you do? That they're making it like you were the abuser and there was something wrong with you. But before it ended, you were the best thing before and since sliced bread. <laughs> so how do you let go? How do you heal? How do you start the process of healing? And even in your healing, how do I guard my heart, Minister Tate? So I pray that this blog blesses you. There are other blogs out there. Feel free to read them. Feel free to comment. I pray, I pray that the next one, and we declare the next one will be the right one. They will be ready. They will be ready. They will not be in fear. They will not be operating in intimidation behind masks and holding their own masquerade parties and inviting you, okay? They will be genuine, genuine in what they're doing and why they're doing it. And honest, honest uh, out the gate, not flip-flopping and changing their mind because the Bible says a lukewarm person can't expect to get nothing from God. Somebody who's, you know, flip-flopping, they, they can't, they can't. So you let God contend with them and allow him to heal you. This is for men and women, okay? So God bless you. It just seems like, unfortunately, it just seems to be more women uh, that are hurt and unfortunately they're hurt by our brothers. So I pray that everyone, you, me, him, her, gets the help that they need to be the right partner for the right person when God sends them. Yeah, you, and to you, you may have made a mistake and walked away from the one. And you, you know the, how they talk about the one who got away. I've discovered women don't always say that. Um, men say that more than women. Um, I, I have a friend who he said his son let the one, the right one get away. His father let his mother get away and he let the one that was the one get away. And so there are many things that be, can be generational patterns. So I do hope, I do hope that the blog blesses you. So be encouraged, be encouraged and look for the Relationship Rules Retreat coming soon. God bless you. Bye-bye. You have a great day.